afternoon, everyone. Great. Uh, so my name is Amber Roy. I'm a software engineer with Oculus VR, uh, formerly of Altspace VR. And I'm talking to you today about building web VR apps with React VR. So two main developer communities. Obviously, we're aiming at web developers, like a lot of you in this room, to help get your web content into VR. But as Oculus, we're also aiming at VR developers who have content already in VR that they might have built with Unity or other game engines. And so how can we reach out to these developers as well? So kind of taking an approach from both sides. How do we get existing web content into VR? And how do we get existing, existing VR content into the web? So an example might be a 360 screenshot or video um, of a, a native game. Similar to how now you can look at uh, you know, a YouTube trailer or preview of a movie before deciding whether you want to pay to see it uh, on the big screen. So what is React? React's a JavaScript library uh, built for um, making UIs for the web. Uh, it was invented at Facebook and was deployed in 2011 on facebook.com, shortly after on Instagram, and then was open sourced. So uh, React JS is open source library uh, since 2013. And then in uh, 2015, React Native was released. So now you can use React uh, JavaScript library to render to iOS and Android for native uh, mobile apps. And then just a few weeks ago at OC3, Oculus Connect, uh, we announced uh, where React VR is in development. So taking um, a step further to let you render to VR. And it's based on 3.js, which Ricardo uh, just talked about, and WebGL and the WebVR APIs. So key features, well, key features of React VR are basically the same as React because it's built on uh, the React core. So optimized for modern uh, one-page web apps, can handle a lot of data-driven apps. Has a lot of cool algorithms that we're going to be bringing in, uh, diffing and layout engines. Um, the diffing refers to the virtual DOM, so it'll only re-render uh, the components that have changed from uh, the last update or from the last scene. So that gives you a performance optimization. And then the layout engine, that's the uh, Flexbox layout. So you don't have to position each UI element, you know, all the coordinates, you can say, oh, I want a column layout, or I want a row layout, and specify the spacing in between, or the margin between the top of the page and your view. And then the layout engine will compute all the coordinates based on uh, the constraints that you set as a developer. Uh, so there's a lot of, those are just some examples of the uh, React um, uh, features that will be in React VR. Uh, and probably the um, one most uh, related to our previous uh, presenter is uh, the fact that um, uh, React combines uh, code and declarative uh, UI uh, together. So you have your, uh, the code is the JavaScript, and then the uh, declarative is the JSX tags. So you have those together in the same place, in the same file. So you have your uh, behavior and rendering in, in one place. So I'll give you, give you a little uh, code example. Um, so uh, in React VR, uh, or in React, uh, views are rendered um, by components that are designated by these custom uh, HTML tags, JSX. Uh, so there's some that are built in, and you can also define your own. So here's a code snippet where you see uh, the little hello world with the, uh, we create our class, and then we have these tags, view, pano, text. So uh, pano is a, a VR-specific tag, so that refers to a 360 uh, image that you want in your scene, and you, and you specify the source, and then the text. Uh, is going to be kind of floating, and you just you specify the coordinates. Uh, so if you've used React uh, Native or React JS, you'll have X and Y. Here for React VR, we have X, Y, and Z for that third dimension. And we're setting the Z at negative 3, so the, the text is kind of um, away from the camera, so you can see it. Uh, and so this is just a quick example, but thing to note here is this, this is in the JavaScript part of your page, right? So so. This is not an HTML. This is actually in the JavaScript. So you can mix JavaScript and these JSX tags together in your, your JavaScript files. Um, and how that kind of works under the hood is uh, React has a transpiler that will translate this into um, JavaScript that the, the browser can use. I swear I would never say compile and JavaScript in the same sentence, but um, it's, it's a fact of life, I guess. Um, 
but it does allow you to do some really cool stuff. So if you haven't used React, uh, definitely, hopefully you'll be inspired to check it out. Um, and if you want to see this in action, I won't have time to, to show this uh, for you, but uh, there is a live demo on the website, uh, developer.oculus.com slash webvr. There's a few examples there, and there's one, this hotel tour, that was actually built using uh, React VR, or at least the pre preliminary version of it. Uh, so React VR is still in development. It's not going to uh, be released for a little while. Um, but check back on this developer.oculus.com webvr website to uh, keep up with the latest. Thank you. <laughs>